Hi everyone, this is Paul Lang from Discipline Trading Strategies with this week's Trade of the Week video. This is the week ending August 2nd of 2020. The stock was PFE as in Pfizer. This happened on the 29th, that was a Wednesday morning, first thing in the morning. This was based on a 60 minute and daily major resistance area with an entry on a one minute be the tail. It also had a little bit of secondary sign of weakness, kind of a blend, I'll show you that in just a minute. The management was simple, reward to risk about 2.2 to one. This happened very quickly. This is not the type of trading that I really like to show off, so to speak, or at least it's not what I think day trading has to be about. This was intended to be held all morning. It just happened to drop very, very quickly. So I took the profits on it. I'll show you that when we get to the chart. It wasn't even the best trade. The best trade was actually, I think it was the short of the market. First thing Friday morning when we had that big drop right out of the gates, took, actually entered pre-market short but it ended up having the same entry if you would have entered during the day. But that's kind of a, not a terribly educational concept. It is in a way, but it was just kind of one of those rare setups that happened that day. So let's continue here for the free stuff members this week. There's nothing going on because the week is kind of filled up with two events for the DTS seminar program members. But remember, you can always visit that free stuff page and there's a lot of new information down at the bottom of the free stuff page if you've not been there for a while. That free stuff page I feel is the best collection of useful information anywhere on the internet. It's grown and grown over the three years that DTS has been around. It'll be three years toward the middle of this month. Daily chart of PFE. You can see that this is a major resistance area from the prior day, but also from way back over here in May. The line does go out to there, but that whole area was an area to be looked at. It's not necessarily going to stall there on the daily chart, but this was not a swing or long-term trade. It was just a quick day trade. You see it emphasized here on the 60-minute chart, where that 60-minute chart, we had a pretty tight area there, and we opened right up there, right against that area. Five-minute chart, you can see this thing fell really fast. Now, it's what I call free money. I had a target in mind of kind of holding it all day, but it kind of reached that target or close to it in the opening minutes. It actually, the trade only lasted uh, about eight minutes. That's all it took. You can see those two five-minute bars encompass the whole trade. So it's not that I go for holding something for that short. It just so happened that it gave me the gain I expected over several hours in several minutes. So you take it. Five-minute chart showing you not much detail, but you can see again the resistance area that formed. And because it happened to open right up there in that area, that's what made this trade so quick. I didn't have to wait for it to set up. It was just kind of either take a shot at it right out of the open or not. Got in right below there at 39.23, stop over 39.42, and boom, quick target at the prior day's low area, which is always smart. And then it free fell. Did a great job on that second target because that turned out to be basically the low of the day. A little more information here on the one-minute chart. And again, this is all happening in these opening eight bars. Entry. If you notice the entry, first minute, that bottoming tail, when that bottoming tail came up and started to roll over, uh, that's the little tick chart pivot that I used for a secondary sign of weakness through the stop up a little bit above here. Good compromise turned out to work out just right. And then we drop, 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 get the first target at the prior low. And then biggest bar on the chart, take the money and run. This trade, like all the others, done in the DTS trading room. If you like what you see here, again, most of these trades are not supposed to be that quick. This one just happened to be. Most of my trades usually last for a couple hours to half day, and sometimes all day. We focus on the morning, and I like to walk away after the opening 90 minutes or so and let the things play out, if they are able to play out. If you'd like to take a trial or sign up for the DTS trading room, head over to the DTS website, and you'll find how to do it.